guess what? I'm back. My eyes are better, even though they're still swollen and I can't wear makeup on them. So you get what you get. It is good to be able to be back with you again. This has been a very stressful and eventful and frustrating week. I was not able to do guidelines for a couple of days. I missed Tuesday and Wednesday and yesterday, actually. It is important that we get through these guidelines because the guidelines, the need for the guidelines are showing up in the posts. We are getting a lot of new people who are commenting and that's terrific. I am excited about it, but, or rather, and, and it is absolutely imperative that even during these tumultuous days that we adhere to the guidelines. The guidelines are not here only for when things are good and smooth and easy. They're actually more for when things get lumpy. And this has been a very lumpy week. I'm going to be leaving the house soon to do some writing because in all honesty, it has been somewhat difficult to write and to be fully present in a house where Tika is not here. So I am thinking that a change of venue might be just the ticket today. So I am going to find a quiet place to have a cup of coffee and maybe even an omelet, who knows, and pound some workout. But in the meantime, I wanna to talk to you about the guidelines because I need to get back on track. We need to get back on track. As a reminder to everybody, the guidelines are absolutely required. I'm going to be doing um, an essay underneath each guideline. Have not done that yet, but I will be. But for the moment, the videos are absolutely required viewing. And when we move to the website exclusively and when we move to Chef's Table, it will be a criteria of being able to be in Chef's Table that you have read and understand and agree to adhere to each and every guideline. Again, this is not something that I want to keep on saying. I'm already saying things that I've already said in videos, such as reacts. This has been the week for reacts, such as quality of posts. This has been the week for one word and one sentence comments, sometimes a little bit sarcastic, um, definitely not adhering to either the spirit or the letter of what we have been asking of you in terms of quality of posts and all of that. Um, people have been saying, I don't see everything you've been posting because it's not in your Facebook feed. There is a guideline for that. Facebook abs absolutely suppresses us, which means you are going to have to take the responsibility for coming to Lace on Brace on your own. You are not going to be getting prompts when we move to the website. So it is great to be able to develop that discipline in the here and now. The guideline that we're going to be talking about today is if there is no new material posted up by me or the admins or any contributing writers that we have, that does not mean there is nothing to gain. This is an absolutely important guideline, particularly in this week and particularly in these days since the election when we have been talking about how people either do or do not have the stamina and the strength and the resilience and the competence to be able to do this work outside well. You'd have more of those things if you were actually doing the work. And looking at it and giving a thumbs up or an emoji is not doing the work. Right now, there are a lot of posts both in the here and now, the ones that we do on a day-to-day -day basis, the ones that are in the pin post and the ones that are in the website. All of those things are important, but particularly, particularly what's in the pin posts. They're great foundational documents. We are going to rerun the Vox article. We are going to rerun the Canadian TV interview. And we're going to rerun once a day after I do the guidelines, the pinned posts. You do not have to wait for me to do these things, to go back and revisit them. We have seen what lack of praxis and lack of practice 
looks like in real time over the last few days. Here at Lace on Race, we say that we lead leaders, we mentor mentors. We influence influencers. That involves all of you. There's no way that you can be an effective leader or mentor or influencer if you do not have some of the foundational under your belt. I have seen on the boards a lot of hand wringing. I don't know what to do. I wish I could have said more. I didn't know how. And it doesn't matter if you've been here for two days, two weeks, two months, or two years. I am seeing those kinds of comments, and it's very concerning. And then when I call people on it, you're right. I'll go and find resources. Work the resources that you have here. Work the resources that you have here. If you need ancillary stuff after that, that's fine. But it's pretty hard for me to go and listen to, I'm gonna go and find everything I can. I'm gonna read every book, I'm gonna find other things. It's like, ah, ah, do this here. This is the exact kind of relational and intellectual ADHD that I see with white people all the time. They do not want to see things through, start to finish. And we have seen this in this election. We have seen the culmination and the consequences of that stance over the last four years. And we got to stop it. We got to stop it. This election is in the can. But in less than two years, and it will come quick, y'all, in less than two years, one of the most important midterm cycles are going to happen. Regardless of who wins, we are going to be looking at a Republican Senate and a very close house. We are going to be looking at state houses and municipalities and local areas. We're going to be still looking at the kitchen table issues, such as workplaces and churches and your homes and your neighbors. There is no way, there is no way that it would be okay if we decided to, oh, well, regardless of who wins, we're done now. We press the lever, we got the outcome and we're finished, which is what a lot of people think. No, we've been saying this for a while. No matter who wins the election, the work is not done. So you need to be able to shore up your, your muscles, your intellectual muscles, your relational muscles. So the pinned posts that we have are absolutely crucial to that. And I can say this with confidence. I'm reading this again from the guidelines. Very few have actually read through and crucially commented upon every pinned post and website article. And almost none of you have gone back, commented and responded to two other walkers. There should be at least 10,000 literally 10,000 posts on any given pin post. There should be 30,000 responses to everyone. We should be breaking Facebook and we're not. That's on you. If you are going to be here, if you are going to say that you're a part of Lace on Race, I'm speaking to the 9,800 of you who probably have even forgotten that you press the like button. But for the two to 300 of you who consider yourselves active, this is necessary to do. And like I said, when we go to the Lace on Race Cafe, when we start talking about chef's table and mentorship, this is going to be a non-negotiable requirement. It is absolutely imperative that you do that. And even if you've done them a year ago, there's more now and there's more on the website. And I know that not everybody has commented on the website. So there is a lot to do. Whether or not there's new pin, there are new, there are new posts on a given day. We do our best to give you new content every day, but you also need to go back and reach you that cud on existing posts, whether they're relatively recent posts or in the pinned posts. There are comments that you absolutely need to read. If you are going back, even if it's been a week or two or even a month, with the comments, usually you find new insight, you find new ways of thinking about it, and it's important that you comment on that too. This is what trains your brain. 
I do not want to see a repeat of 2020. Since I was sick, or my eyes were sick uh, these last few days, I haven't been able to do a lot of writing or reading, actually. Um, the reading that I was able to do, I saved my eyes for looking at re election results and reading uh, articles about the election um, and doing my best to keep up on the boards. But one thing that really, really struck me, because I, I was thinking about it, I was thinking about it, how much have I really given you? It was really hard for us to post the ask, which we posted finally today. Um, it was really hard for us to do the early November ask, partially because I had a crisis of the soul. How can I ask people to support a place that may or may not be efficacious? And sometime between thinking about putting ointment on my eye and putting ointment on my eye, because I have to put ointment on my eye, I have to be very diligent about it, it's antibiotic, got to do it. I was thinking, no, oh no, oh no. It's not me. It's not lace on race. It's not this community. It's not the quality of the material that we have given you. I have said in earlier months that every day, every day, lace on race puts out a spread for 10,000 people. And we have to because we never know who's going to show up 